right, so in this problem we have a system of equations and we want to solve for the values of x and y. We can do so using two methods, the elimination method and the s or the substitution method. Let's start with the elimination method. Using the elimination method, we are going to multiply our second equation by 2. So it's going to look like this. We're going to have 6x minus 4y equals 20. And now in order to cancel out one of the variables, we can, whoop, okay, we can subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So it's going to look like this. We're going to have 2x minus 4y minus 6x minus 4y equals 12 minus 20. All right, so now let's simplify what we have here in our parentheses by distributing the negative. So we have 2x minus 4y minus 6x plus 4y equals 12 minus 20, which will give us a negative 8. And now, as you can tell, the 4y's cancel out, and we are left with negative 4x equals negative 8. Now, in order to find what the value of x is, we are going to divide negative 4 on both sides. And now, x equals negative 8 divided by negative 4, which gives us a positive 2. So the value of x is our positive 2, and now we can take this value and plug it into one of our equations to find out what y is. So let's plug it into our first equation. 2, and instead of x, we're going to write positive 2, minus 4y equals 12. Now let's further simplify. We have 4 minus 4y equals 12. And we'll add 4, or we'll subtract 4 on both sides. So now we have negative 4 equals 12 minus 4, which is 8. 4y, oops. And now we'll divide negative 4 on both sides. And therefore, y will be negative 2. So our x equals 2 and our y equals negative 2. So if we take a look at our answers, that corresponds to answer D. And this will be our final answer. Now let's take a look how we solve this using the substitution method. All right, so using the substitution method, we want to isolate one of the variables and plug in that expression into the other variable in the second expression. So it's going to look like this. Let's take our first expression and divide everything by 2. So once we do that, we have x minus 2y equals 6. Now let's isolate x, and we have x equals 2y plus 6. Now we can plug this in into our second equation, and we can plug it in for x. So now we have 3. And instead of x, we're going to write the entire expression 2y plus 6 minus 2y equals 10. So now let's distribute this 3 right over here. And we have 6y plus 18 minus 2y equals 10. Now let's simplify our y's. And we have 4y plus 18 equals 10. We'll subtract 18 on both sides. And now we have 4y equals negative 8. Now we can divide 4 on both sides, and we have y to equal negative 2. So once we have the value of y, we can plug it into one of the equations to get the value of x. Let's plug it into the first equation. We have 2x minus 4 times y, which is negative 2, equals 12. Now we have 2x minus a negative 8, equals 12, and a negative and a negative make a positive, so we are going to subtract 8 on both sides, and now we have 2x equals 4. And now in order to find the value of x, we'll divide 2 on both sides, and now we have x equals 2. So using both methods, we got the same answer, and you can always choose which one is easier for you, but the final answer will be D.